All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Now, before we begin, somebody wants to say hi to you guys. Oh my God, that just hit me straight in the eye. Ugh. Ugh. Remember Bailey? She's a little bit bigger now since the last time I put her on the channel, but she's grown a lot. She's like a solid 30 pounds heavier now. She's still a little monster. It looks a terrible my socks. Do you have anything you want to say to the people? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. More bones? Okay. I think there's someone else in this house that would also agree with that. She's still just as destructive as she was back then. She's only like a couple months. You know, it's a given. But look, this is what she did. This is one of my socks. I put this on the other day, and this is what happened. I just thought, okay, first of all, we have a hole right here. And then just... My toes went right through it. I'm like, what the fuck? But anyways, we're going to be watching Anchorman today, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. My eye is still hurting from when this just hit me. Anchorman, I've always heard, is a really, really, really funny movie. And we just did The Other Guys with Will Ferrell. Now, Anchorman is a movie that I've heard of for the longest time, but I just never really got around to seeing. Like I said, with all the other comedy movies on this channel that we've done before. By the time I was allowed to watch the movies, I was just, I was doing other stuff. You know, I was outside, I was playing sports, I was with my my friends most of the time so we just never got around to doing it so there's a lot of movies that i haven't seen because of that but but now we have a great reason to watch anchorman so i recognize the characters from it like i recognize will ferrell playing this character i've seen like memes of it paul rudd's also in this steve carell's in this too but yeah i'm super excited to start this movie we're just gonna hop right into this movie if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well as early access to the next couple of comedy movies, comedy movies that will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Uh, the following is based on actual events. Only the names, location, and events have been changed. Okay. And events have been changed. Okay. His name was Ron Birkin. He was like a god walking amongst mere mortals. I look good. I mean, really good. Come and see how good I look! He's in love with himself. Yeah. How now, brown gal? How now, brown cow? That's not really a tongue twister. Lan Lanolin? Like, like sheep's wool? Unique New York. Mm, I Unique New York. U New Fuck. <laughs> Unique New York. Unique New York. I'm on right now. I don't believe you. Alright, Bill O'Reilly. Well, if you were a man, I would punch you. I'd punch you right in the mouth. That's Bush. Bush League. <clears throat> you hear me? Andre! Look at me! Damn, I'm so All right, so he's an absolute diva. Okay. With five-time Emmy Award-winning anchor, Ron Burgundy. Anchor's going to Emmys? Tamlin Weather. So, boy, Steve Carell. And your reporter in the field, Brian Fantana. There he is, Paul Rudd. Ron Burgundy. Oh my gosh, he's the first one! Alright, so he's, in a, he's a superstar. And 38 degrees in the Middle East. Off the coast of Tampa Bay yesterday. In the Middle East. Alright! Stick around, make sure these guys don't- Yeah, I feel like they're just all coked up at all times. Just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. To stop what you're doing and listen. Cannonball! Oh. Don't get no better than this. We've been coming to the same party for 12 years now. And in no way is that depressing. That's extremely depressing. I saw you from across the party, and uh, I don't usually do this, but I want to be friends with it. Well, you certainly know how to compliment a woman. Do you know who I am? Yep, and she doesn't care. No, I, I can't say that I do. Oh, I yes. don't know how to put this. And it's gonna shatter his ego. I'm kind of a big deal. She doesn't care. People know me. Well, I'm very happy for you. Mm-hmm. Listen, can I, can I start over again? Yeah, approach her like an actual person, dog. I wanna put it out there. Mm -hmm. And if you like it, you can take it. If you don't, send it right back. This is gonna be so out of pocket. I wanna be on you. Oh my god. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Absolutely no game. He's just so used to being like the a big deal, you know, so everyone's just like, oh my god, I want you. But nope, not her. She doesn't give a shit. So now he's going to be compelled to try and get her on a date and win her over. This one was different. I have to be honest. I'm lonely? I'm not lonely. 
I'm, I'm beloved by everyone in San Diego. You know how to cut to the core of me, Baxter. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows you and everyone likes you. But does anyone really love you for you? Anyone personal to you? Probably not. The dog has a retainer too. <laughs> and speaking of network, word on the street is they're looking for a new anchor. So run. <laughs> Oh, is this the girl from the party? She's gonna pull up on him. Oh, it's her, yep. The girl he met at the party is gonna be the new anchor. What in the hell's diversity? <clears throat> well, I, I could be wrong. Ron, are you paying attention? Nope. <laughs> well, this concerns all of us. Okay. He doesn't give a shit. Veronica Corningstone. <laughs> yep, it's her. Hello, everyone. So she knows who he is, yeah. Obviously. She just said no. Because one, the shatter's ego, and two, she knew she was coming in here the next day. So she didn't want to say. I don't know what we're yelling about! <laughs> Mr. Harkin, I was just wondering if you knew when my office would be ready. <laughs> well, Paul Roy looks so mad. You can use my office, and afterwards maybe we can go to lunch! Why are you talking like that? Bro's nervous. Bro's folding like a lawn chair. Just in her presence. Every station is the same. Women ask me how I put up with it. Well, the truth is, I don't really have a choice. This is definitely a man's world. But while they're laughing and grab-assing... Just take their job. Because the only way to win is to be the best. Yep, she's gonna do the absolute most to take over. Well, well, well. Oh, we got... Oh, it's Vince Vaughn. <laughs> oh, we got beef with the other news stations. I didn't know the Salvation Army was having a sale. <laughs> <laughs> am I right? Am I right? What do you flick at them? Where did you get those clothes? At the toilet store? Nice. What are you doing on our station's turf, Burgundy? You're about to get a serious beatdown. I don't know they're about to beat his ass. That'd be hilarious if they actually just started fighting. I'm sure Wes here is just upset over finishing <laughs> second in the rating. <laughs> Wait, the way, the way Paul Rudd's just looking over at Vince Vaughn too, completely has his back. At your word, <laughs> number two. <laughs> she can't compete with us. Get the f*** out of my way. Excuse him, why? Out of my way. Stop hiding behind those phony numbers, Burgundy! I'm mm. coming after you! Oh, we have phony numbers? I will not have my first story at this news station be about a cat fashion show. Try to set her up for failure. She can't pass Ron Burgundy. The new station will never allow that. So they're going to give her shit stories. But like she said, she's going to fetch her own, so. Can I say, I like the way you're put together. What do you say we go out on a date? No. Have some chicken, maybe some sex. No. Oh, let me get this over here. <laughs> Time to musk up. Wow. What are we feeling like today, boys? Blackbeard's delight. No. She gets a special cologne. Oh, uh, the one in the box. It's called Sex Panther by Odeon. It's illegal in nine countries. It's illegal in nine countries? Why? Dude, that smells like pure gasoline. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. That yeah. doesn't make sense. No, it does. Within that 60%, it works every time. <laughs> My God, what is that smell? Oh, that's the smell of desire, my lady. God. Oh, that backfired. Yeah, just it smells like Bigfoot's dick. <laughs> Bigfoot's dick. The only way to bag a classy lady is to give her two tickets to the gun show <sighs> and see if she likes the goods. My God, Wolfram is doing a great job. <laughs> Oh my god, that fuck that dad bod. <laughs> you are pathetic. It has to be the feeblest pickup attempt mm. that I have ever encountered. You know, I expected it from the rest of them, Mr. Burgundy, but not from you. Mm. Step your game up, dog. Why are you about town as one professional helping another professional because mm. I know what it's like to be lonely in a new city? As a journalist, I should get to know the city that I'm covering. Mm. But this is not a date. Mr. Burgundy, you have a massive erection. Ooh. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's this, <laughs> It's the pleats. Bro just got bricked from her just saying, yeah, let's let's hang out. 
<laughs> he has to walk now. Don't act like you're not impressed. Mistake. He's very cute. Mm. Very cute. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's hairy. Yeah, she likes him. She's gonna fall for him somehow. <laughs> Strictly professional. Doesn't mean we can't have fun. <laughs> oh my god. San Diego. Dude, don't put the seat back. Watch him just watch him just be like, yeah, this is such a great view. <laughs> San Diego. Which of course in German means a whale's vagina. Someone's definitely told me that before. And I was like, there's no fucking way. No, it doesn't. There's no way. But yeah, they got that they got it from this movie. Wow. I'm honestly not shocked. Would everyone love to hear Ron Burgundy play some jazz flute? Does he actually? Oh, give my hand. I'm not prepared. I really am not prepared. <laughs> he just had that on him. Oh, okay, he obviously knew he was going to do it then. Hold on. Oh, oh. Right. Hold on. Oh, oh he's pumping at us. Ooh. That sounds kind of nice. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, really? Oh, he's getting carried away. <laughs> Dude, what a fucking show. Oh my god. Dude, no, honestly, if you're on a date and they just do this, like, anyone would be pretty impressed. Hawk. To one day become a network anchor. No, oh, like an actual network. We share the same dream. Not just a local fucking news channel. We want to be a network anchor. Mm-hmm. Like a big brand, yeah. I swore that I would never get involved with a co-worker. Tonight, we weren't co-workers. We were co-people. Damn, he actually rizzed her. Mi corazón es el fuego. Julio, who's that? That was the best way to demonstrate a sex scene I've ever seen. I'm having very strong feelings for you, Mr. Burgundy. Mm -hmm. But it's very important to me that I be viewed as a professional. We should keep it relatively quiet around the station. Absolutely. He's gonna tell everyone. Everyone's gonna know. Veronica Corning Stone and I had sex! <laughs> Why, Jesus. Did I say that loud? No. I think I was in love once. Really? What was her name? I don't remember. <laughs> Aww. Cute cats. Love cats. Dude, I want to get a cat so bad. Horus Maximus he is ready to do battle in the arena. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some great stuff in this courting stuff. Is that Seth Rogen? I'd also like to share with you that we are currently dating. And that she is quite a handful in the bedroom. Jesus. She's gonna tweak on and be like, why the fuck did you say that? I might be in trouble on that one. Yeah. I can't believe that you said that we were dating on the air. Don't you get it, Ron? No. I wanna be- What to say? I just, I got excited. I just, I love Veronica Corningstone. Ron. Hey, fellas. Veronica and I are trying this new fad called, uh, jogging. <laughs> I believe- it's supposed to be wild. He's gonna hate it. You've been spending a lot of time with this lady, Ron. Mm, she's stealing him. Need you. <clears throat> Hell, I need you. We miss you so damn much. Sort it out. I think you and me should get an apartment together. Take it easy, champ. Why don't you stop talking for a while? <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't trust this chick. We need you around, and she is just using you. I don't think so, but maybe... It Maybe she is a bit, so she can become an anchor, but I think she also really likes him. I feel like I have proven myself as a journalist, and that I deserve the opportunity to take on more challenging stories. Well, ask and you shall receive. Ah, yes, this just came across that my- was, Wow, that was fucking easy. <laughs> she was like, what the fuck? Chula Vista claims to have a recipe for the world's greatest meatloaf. Ooh. Oh, no, that's not what she meant. It was very hard for Veronica. But she was a pro and hung tough. But soon, with a simple act of littering, everyone's life would change forever. 
Baxter, you are my little gentleman. I'll take you to Foggy. Oh, this is gonna be a crash. Burrito is delicious, but it is filling. Run! Ah! Oh, and this guy's gonna shoot, huh? And Ron's career is gonna be fucked. God damn, son of a... <gasps> what the hell, bro? It's Jack Black. <laughs> you just throw a burrito out your window? Huh? I believe I did. What are you, high or something? Victor, that's my chopper you just thrashed, bros of. <laughs> Easy, come. So you destroyed the only thing I love. All right, there it is. What do you love? Not the dog, not the dog. And of course, my friend Baxter here. Well, guess what? Now this is happening. Oh, no, no, he's gonna throw it off the bridge. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> fucking pointed the dog. Oh my God. That's how I roll. I fucking pointed that dog. Oh! It's funny because when it showed her going over the bridge and somewhere, that was such clearly, a, that was so clearly a dummy. But like, but like, what the fuck? If Ron does not show up, I am ready to go on. Mm, Sweetheart, yes. you and I have- this city needs its news because I am good at three things. Fighting, screwing, and reading the news. I've done one of those today, so what's the other one gonna be, huh? Screwing? No. Damn. Fine. Antenna. The bridge, I hit him with a burrito. Run. <laughs> yeah, that's not really equal. To be honest, like you got hit in the face with a burrito, that would piss me off. But I want to punt a fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. He's gonna put garbage stone on. Oh, he's oh he's moving, he's moving. <laughs> Dude, you did not need to push that guy. You did that just cause. <clears throat> You're not Ron. What's wrong with his eye? And the winner of the frog leaping contest was Hoppy, with a jump of seven. What the fuck, Paul? Paul is trying to distract her. She's not cracking. She's not even gonna give a s simple glance. That'll do it for us at six o'clock. Hmm. Oh, she's already done. Really good. I liked your little sign off line too, Missy. You did? Mm. You did. It just came through me. It was so organic. She's a natural. <laughs> I have something so magnificent to tell you. Listen. He's going to hate it. He's going to hate that she did such a good job. Darling, I did the news and I nailed it. I nailed it. <laughs> Sick, tasteless joke is. You weren't nope. here. Why are you being this way? Why can't you. He's jealous. I wanted to be an anchor. I told you that. I thought you were kidding! Damn. I thought Veronica had a very funny joke today. All right, they're breaking up. They're 100% breaking up. Get out! Just go! You, we are through! Broken my heart. <sighs> You're breaking my heart. You're going down a path I can't follow. I don't know you anymore. It's like our broadcast last night received a two point ratings boost. Hmm, she did better. Decision has been passed down to make Veronica she our co-anchor. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Uh, no. No. Oh, no, this is tragic for them, though. Jazz flute is for little fairy boys. OK, you know what? That's uncalled for. I can't work with this woman. That's terrible. Dude, I feel like the behind the scenes of this movie would be so fun. What? I can see you. <sighs> OK. What, what, what are you paying for? What do you want them to do? Burgundy and Tits McGee. Oh my god. Good evening, Stone. Tits McGee is on vacation. Mmm, played it off nice. Buy new suits. Yay! Oh, um, I thought I was gonna freeze frame, damn. I really wanted it to freeze frame. You said this was a shortcut. Fantastic. Well, is it a shortcut or not? <laughs> okay. It's not it's not an answer, Brick. Oh no. These went out for a little stroll, huh? You know, the turf war is a nice touch this movie. That's a that's a really nice touch. They have real beef too. Like that's just You back off, evening news team. <laughs> <laughs> Brick, get back over here. Brick, get the fuck over here. Jeez. <laughs> Dude, they're actually they actually wanna hurt each other. <laughs> He has a grenade. Let's do this! Who the fuck is this? Then don't forget Channel 2 News. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, another news team. <gasps> He's 
been so cool. Stand, bitches. I didn't know he was in this. Uh, yeah! The fuck is going on, right? I mean, I know, but like, so funny. Begin! Yeah! Oh, they're actually like fighting though. <laughs> Where they get the horses? Brick! Oh, he actually killed him. Okay, I know this guy too, but I don't know his name. Oh my god. See that coming! Yeah, me neither. Police! Damn, some of them actually died. <laughs> Boy, that escalated quickly. Yeah. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It did. Everyone came out of nowhere. Brick killed a guy. <laughs> Three newsmen in this city's laughing at us. Why don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? <sighs> Damn. You have bad hair. Oh, oh, that crossed the line. That crossed the line. What did you say? Yeah, he's pissed. Looks stupid. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> No, not the mace! Oh. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Brick, why are you screaming? This is a shit show. This es escalated quickly. So awful. Oh wait, is this, is this Agatha from WandaVision? She's done a lot of stuff. I have some information that you can choose to use or not use. Ron Burgundy? We'll read anything that is put on that telephone. Yeah. yeah, that's what they said earlier. God, what is she gonna put though? I'm Veronica Corningstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. Why did he say Jesus, why did he actually say that? I mean, he'll say anything, so that's why, but like, dog. Nobody talks about my city that way! No, everyone's turning on. The city's turning on him. Mm -hmm. Nice work, everyone. Well, I've got to fire uh, you. Bing, boom, boom. You're no. fired, Ed. <laughs> Do you even know what you just said? No. <gasps> oh, yeah. great Odin's Raven. <laughs> Veronica, she put that in the teleprompter. You're probably right, but this is bad, Ron. Real bad. I got to fire you. Ed, that's a rash decision. You're my hero, Ron. <laughs> I can't believe you did this to me. Were you happy? No, Ron. Disappointment with all of them, Brigandy. Damn. All right. The rest of this movie is about him redeeming his name. Good evening, San Diego. Oh, he's down bad. He's doing quite well. No! That reminds me of in Dodgeball when Ben Stiller became Fat Bastard. <laughs> I have seen Dodgeball, by the way. Great movie. Also, Ben Stiller in this, he had like the same mustache too, as he did in Dodgeball. Is this Will Chamberlain? Have the courage to say something! Hello! Ah, oh, she kind of... Ah! Oh my god. I know it's Will Ferrell, but he looks like another actor as Ron Burgundy. And like right here, he looks so much like who I just have, who I have in my head. And I can't, I can't... Ron! Oh, no brick! They're not cool anymore. Oh, they are, but like they just can't be publicly. I just realized actually, he looks like um. I'm gonna butcher the name, but it's like Jean Jolet or something. Jean Jolet, but he was in um. He was in the show The League. That's who he looks like. Ling Wong the panda is giving birth. Let's go. Let's get go. get Corningstone over there right away. Dude, this is like oh my god, very serious news. <laughs> And this is the moment the entire world has- Fuck Channel 6. Four. I can only speculate as to- <laughs> He has his arm. His arm's gone. All right, you go over there and see if you can get a shot. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, it's definitely Seth Rogen. I'll tell you the ratings where you're number two to a woman. Ooh. Ouch. Don't lose any more hair over it. <laughs> Damn. I make fart noises. It's the hair that makes him look like that, though. The part, the dude I'm thinking of. I've never seen Will Ferrell with this hair. Stinking up the joint with your craziness. Now what the hell is wrong with you? 
I got no heart because a she-devil stole it. And you know what the worst part about it is? She's better than me! This guy's gonna give him some great advice. You know, times are changing. Ladies can do stuff now. What? Were you saying something? <laughs> Look, I don't speak Spanish. Jesus, all right, I thought he was gonna give him like really, really solid advice right there. Help him get his motivation back or whatever, and turn his life around, but no. No, not, no, okay. Fantastic shot you got there. <laughs> the That's the kind of, of shot that gets you to the top of network news. Get the fuck out of here. He's gonna try and snipe the shot. You know, that is so refreshing to me because the struggle that- <gasps> What the fuck are you doing? I don't want to wake up your friend. What? Uh, the, uh, the bears? Oh, no. Help. Bro, you're going to go to a fucking prison for that. I can't believe this. Every news outlet in the world is looking for coverage on this. I've got... Not in the world, just San Diego. How'd you know to call the bar? <laughs> we, we need you down here right away. We did. Why don't you just have Paul Rudd do it? He was already here reporting. I mean, I guess Ron's more recognizable, but like... Ed, that's wonderful, thank you! I thought Ron was just like the studio anchor man and Paul Rudd's the one who, Brian, is the one who like goes out in the field and reports, but all right. Ed, I'll be down there! And I'm going to look good. Bro, you got a lot of cleanup to do before you get there. Like, you're gonna miss this entire thing. Oh, two seconds, all right. Good evening. I'm Ron Burgundy. Goddamn Superman. If I'm gonna do this, I'll need my news team at my side. <laughs> no, he's not. News team! Assemble! Assemble! <laughs> he said it. Oh, <gasps> Baxter! You didn't fucking die! Wow. Hey, Ron. Uh, they're just right so, there. We've been here literally the entire time you have. <laughs> I just got the call from Harkin, but I can't do this without my news team. That was half a lifetime ago. We're different people now. It's like yesterday. I think about going down. <laughs> there was a time when you called me your lead anchor. There was an idea to assemble a group of remarkable people who could do the things we couldn't. <laughs> Did you just hear something? Mm. Yeah, the guy saved Veronica. <laughs> oh my god, we've got to do something. There's a network talent scout over there. No, she's more important. So much to think about. No, there's really not. Basically, the biggest story of my career launching me to a level I've, mm. I've never known before, or saving the woman that you love used to have familiar relations with. Don't, don't put it, don't put it like that. Ron, I know it sounds harsh, but God does not want her to live. Dude, the good thing I did not drink this, because I would have spit that out. Good thing I didn't take my sip yet. Ron, what? There is, there is no planning to, okay. What are you doing? Why didn't you go get help? Because I'm a fucking moron. Ron, in case we die here today. I love you. That dirty trick with the teleprompter. It wasn't you, was it? It was Wes Mantooth. Who the fuck? No, I did it. You bitch! <laughs> yeah, now this is a bigger story than the panda. News team! Let's hunt! Oh my god, what are you doing? News team! <laughs> hey, the boys are ride or die. <laughs> Hey, Ron! Oh my god, Burke. <gasps> no, he's on his other arm. <laughs> no, watch Baxter sacrifice himself. Baxter! Oh, he's gonna scare away the bear. Baxter's gonna scare away the bear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bear can't even see the Baxter. It can't. Don't tell us for your compassion. <laughs> For all the Baxter, you shall always be friends with the bears. <laughs> Better shed a tear. Oh, man, you are alive! Ah! Doesn't even care about Veronica. Oh, 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 oh. She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm good too. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm good. Talk. 
What are you doing? It was a long fall from the top, isn't it? Bro, this drop won't kill him. <laughs> and the bears are, went back. I pure, straight, hate you. He's gonna tr attempt to murder in front of all these people, like. But God damn it, do I respect you? Oh. Today we spell redemption. R O N. <laughs> My drop. Oh, I was kind of hard. It's the story you were born to tell. Got me done. Oh, he, he wants to do it with her though. Ever to happen to Santiago, <laughs> or retell it. I'm going to need some help from my co ank Mm-hmm. Miss Veronica Coins. What? No. No, not you, Brick. My pressure. Go stand over there. Seventy-two percent sure that I love you. All right, I'll take it. Yes, redemption was. They're back together. Excuse me. Is that sex panther you're wearing? Oh my God. Why, yes it is. Oh, Jesus. Fantana went on to have great success as the host of the hit reality TV show Intercourse Island on the Fox Network. And joining the Avengers after. <laughs> is married with 11 children nice. and is one of the top political advisors to the Bush White House. All right. And Ron and Veronica didn't stay in San Diego long. Because they got better jobs. And they became the first mixed gender network news team. And they're still doing it today. You stay classy, planet Earth. Carry on my All right, well, that was Anchorman. <laughs> what a movie. <laughs>